I am very comfortable to say that a lot of the corrective measures that um, that were cited by the World Heritage Site Committee, we have uh, made significant process, pro progress on. Um, there's still outstand, outstanding issue, and, uh, and I guess everybody know that the, out, the most outstanding issue is really um, government's policy and on, on oil exploration within the, the property, the World Heritage property. But I could tell you that um, the departure of the consultants who were here, they made it very clear to both the minister and to myself as World Heritage um, focal point, and even the broader stakeholder that they met with, that they saw that there were good progress on the ground and that they were, um, they've noted progress that we've made in terms of all of these checks and balances that um, they would have wanted to see. The one area that UNESCO have really put in some real details is the area of oil exploration and World Heritage Sites. And they're saying that um, there's no, that's not compatible for you to have oil exploration in a World Heritage Sites. Now, whether or not we agree on that, you might have your view, Marianne, and I might have my view, but that's UNESCO's position. And so what they entail from Government of Belize is to now um, present to them what are our plans in terms of how we're going to approach oil exploration. As you know, we don't have a national policy. And we, we're we working on one, which they were very... That's one of the other um, tangibles that they were... Um, that they noted that when they met with the Ministry of Energy, they did say that they saw movements and that they saw the commitment to now work on a national framework for oil exploration in Belize because we don't have one nationally, not for terrestrial or for um, um, offshore. And so what we have to do now when we're developing this framework is to look at the fact that, well, you know, if we want to continue to have World Heritage Site, which the government is committed to, because they've reaffirmed their commitment to keep our designation, that we must therefore make provisions in that framework that will ensure that exploration does not happen um, within the, the boundaries of these properties, or it's not happening in a way that it would affect these properties.